Surprise, it's raining once again, but we are here at Walmart because we got to pick up some Pokemon cards because at home we have a huge package that was sent to us by a company um, that I will reveal when we open it up, but it has to do with Pokemon cards. And I figured instead of using the Pokemon cards that I already have, that I would go out and buy some more so we can open up some here in the video and then use that stuff that they sent us with the Pokemon cards. I think you guys are going to like this a lot. So let's go inside, buy some stuff, and then let's head home and try not to get too too wet too wet while we jump outside except you know what's gonna happen okay here we go okay so we're inside I want to grab um, just some random boosters here I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some Guardians Rising right down here we got Guardians Rising I think I'm gonna grab two of those two Guardians Rising and then I think I'm gonna go down here and grab some burning shadows oh yeah burning shadows right there let's grab two of those one and Two. All right, so now we're gonna go home and we're gonna open up that big package finally. You guys are gonna get to see all the awesome stuff that's inside and then we're gonna use these cards to kind of go with the big package. Um, it's gonna be exciting, so let's go home and let's, uh, what could what could be, what could, would we be doing with cards? It doesn't necessarily involve opening Pokemon cards. Could it be rip it or flip it? No, it's not rip it or flip it. It's not, or is it? It's not. Or, or is it? Let's do it. What is up everybody? I'm Real Breaking A and welcome back to the channel. Usually I spin around when I say that, but today I can't because I have this humongous box mail that was sent to me from none other than BCW. If you don't know who BCW is, um, they are they, they protect, they store, and they display uh, a lot of your collectibles and cards. Pokemon cards, yes. Um, so that is what they are known for. They sent over some samples, wanted me to check out their stuff, wanted me to show you guys some of their awesome stuff. So I decided instead of using the cards that I already have, we'll make this like an opening and um, an unboxing at the same time. Um, so I went out and I bought, obviously, I went and bought Pokemon cards. So we're going to open those up and then we're going to open up this box right here and see what they sent over. I literally have no idea what is inside of this. None of no, no clue whatsoever. So I'm excited to open this up. Let's open up those cards and then open up this bad boy right here. Real quick, PokeFam Nation, today was actually a double video upload day. So earlier today, we uploaded another video where we opened up, we tried, and we ate some of the new Reptar bars. It was quite quite tasty and they looked amazing guys you got to check it out i'll link you down in the video description down below in this video and video and i will throw up a card right up here as well so you can check that out guys mm, 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 these are tasty okay pokemon nation let's get to opening up these burning shadows and these guardians rising i was kind of hoping that they might have put out crimson invasion a little bit early but they didn't what but this this is good enough this is good enough um these are two great sets do me a favor guys if you are not yet part of the pokefam nation smash that subscribe button become part of the pokefam nation one of the coolest and most fun pokemon communities here on youtube a fun and positive environment you guys can always come back to for a new video every single day um monday through friday and sometimes we put up videos on the weekend actually uh, just about every weekend we put up videos on the weekend um, and then do me another favor hit the thumbs up on this video Represent the PokeFam Nation show your support um, and then I want to throw out my social media on the screen right now Instagram Twitter Facebook Snapchat I post different things to every single one of them um, But Instagram is my favorite because Instagram is my jam uh, So if you're gonna follow any of them follow that one It's a great way to talk to you guys outside of YouTube and I can just show you a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff and um uh, and just random wackiness in general. Um, so here is a code card for you right there. Claim it and pull something awesome. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two. All right. So there's chances at Hyper Rare Charizard GXs um, or Rainbow Rares if you want to call them that. Um, and then, of course, Secret Rare Double Colorless Energies. Uh, what? Caterpie, Sandy Gast, Minipede, Sneasel, Alolan Vulpix, um, an energy that I would usually file in my filing cabinet, but we might need it for that box that we're about to unbox. A Noctowl, um, a Rhydon, a Charmeleon, a Kiawi, Reverse Hollow, and then our rare goes to a Tartanitar. Um, let's keep those rares and those Reverse Hollows separate just in case we need them. Um, let's go ahead and go with a Guardians Rising now. We'll just kind of go back and forth. Burning Shadows, Guardian Rising. Burning Shadows, Guardians Rising. 
Let's get you guys another code card. We always give away the code cards, even when they're for big, like, collection boxes. We just opened up the Ultra Beast uh, collection box. I'll link you up there in the cards, um, right, the cards right above. We uh, opened up one of those. I even, I even gave away the code card for those promos inside that box as well. So, um, guys, I never keep the codes. You, They're always for you. They're always for you because you guys are awesome. There's another code card for you. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We also gave away the promos inside of uh, that Ultra Beast box as well. Um, Machop, Trubbish, Chansey, Alolan Vulpix, Energy, Aether Paradise, Hala 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 Hala, uh, Marini, a Reverse Holo Stuffle, and a Trevenant as our rare. So still no Hollow rares yet, um, but we do have two booster packs left. Uh, we're going to go with Burning Shadows once again. All right. Give us a hollow rare at least. At least a hollow rare. Rah, okay. Boom. Code card for you right there. One, two, three, four. One, two. All right. I'm excited to get to that box. So I'm kind of going a little bit fast there. Sorry. Oddish. Mudbray. Sock. A Togodamaru. A Wimpod. Another Energy. A Charmeleon. A Dusclops. A Potown. A Reverse Hollow Weevil. So that's a rare right there. So at least two rares in this booster pack. And then our rare goes to... Another Turdinator. Wah wah. How, how, what are the odds? So you, you saw that I picked out the booster packs from two different locations. Um, so what are the odds that you pull, grab two Turdinators and not even either of them's a, a hollow? All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to give away the code card after we look at this booster pack. One, two, three, four, one, two. All right, we have a Gumi, a Whalmer, a Beldum, a Rock Ruff. A Machop, an Energy, a Sableye, a Fletchlander, a Marini, a Reverse Solo, a Rock Ruff, and an... Ah, uh, no, no, not an Oracorio. You guys know how much these Oracorios haunt me. Hashtag Down With Oracorio. Use that in the comments down below to let me know that you support the cause of Down With Oracorio. Um, and there is the code card for that last booster pack right there. Guys, I, I always seem to pull the Oracorios, but you know what? That's okay, because we're about to open up this big box right now. Urgh, let me put these cards off to the side. Throw trash on the ground. World Tour 2017. I might have to grab out some hollows just in case there's um, stuff that we might need to use hollows for. Um, so here we go. Let's open up this big box. I'm going to put it back here on the forward-facing cam uh, so you guys can see this a little bit better. Big box says BCW right here on the very top. All right, guys, I am standing up because the box is so massive. It is bigger than the desk that I have right here, as you can see. Let's open it up. I have not looked inside this. You guys are looking at it um, for the very first time with me. Oh, my goodness. What is inside? What is inside this big box? We have a Deck Locker LX. Oh, man. Oh, man, holds over 80 uh, sleeved standard gaming cards. Premier, uh, Premier uh, or Premium LX Exterior, I can't read. A microfiber, uh, flip panels, removable card and dice trays. Uh, wow, wow, yellow. I love bright colors, too. Uh, let's see what is got inside of here. We have, look at this. We have deck, uh, deck guards, orange, double mat, 80 sleeves right there. I like that. It is not like a crazy, uh, a crazy weird number for sleeves, like 50 or something like that. Um, I love that there is 80 in here, so it's enough for a deck um, and side cards as well, or just a little bit extras. Um, so that will fit inside that deck locker as well. Oh, yes, binders. I love, love binders. Oh, I love binders, guys. Guys, I love, love binders. Um, we have holds 160 cards right here. Um, I'm going to, I'll have a better view of this. We're just unboxing it at the moment. We have a gaming catalog, it looks like. So there is everything that is inside of that. Um, we have, oh, look at this. We have nine pocket double pages right there to add to our binders. Holds 180 cards all the way total. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, this is this is the big mama right here. Holds 480 cards. Wowzer. And it's orange too. Love me some orange. And it's great for this time of year. 12 pocket page design. This is what I like about this. Is you could actually 
Look at this. Four across right here. You could put play sets of Pokemon in there. Play sets of Pokemon. Um, man, that is awesome. That is awesome. And then we have some gloss sleeves right here. Elite version. Elite version. Oh, man. Let's look at this stuff a little bit closer. I'm going to get this box off the table so we can take a better look. All right, let's take a closer look at everything. And this um, right here appears to be just a little book of everything that they have to offer. All their cool stuff right here. Um, BCW, I'll put, uh, I'll put it down in the video description down below if you want to check it out. Um, here is a deck locker right here. Uh, let's look at this. Oh, uh, man. Oh, man, this is exciting. I've never had like uh, any any like products that um, that are like humongous and premium like this before. Oh man! So if you guys definitely if you go to play in tournaments and things like that, you're a competitive player. Um, I would definitely think this is something you would probably want to have. Look at this! It's got everything. It literally has everything that you would probably need and more and more. So right here we have. What is this? This appears to be um, a little dice tray right here. Look at this dice tray. How cool, how cool is this right here? This is so awesome. Um, uh, and then it looks like we have another little dice tray here in the very top. Wowzer. Um, and I think you, I would assume you could get probably all sorts of different colors. Um, let's put this right back in here. And it is magnetized. Um, so boom, right there, magnetize. I think what you can do is you can probably take this out and then put your um, put your deck in there. I would assume that's what you could do. Look at this, boom, like that. Of course, you could put them in there sleeved as well, um, or this could be just like a separate, just like a separate um, thing for you. Like maybe your deck's in something else, and then um, all your counters and everything are in this one. That is really really awesome. I love the logo right here on the front. That awesome dragon. Uh, and of course you see the BCW logo right there at the very bottom. Um, now let's check out, let's check out, we got these double mat deck guard uh, sleeves is what I'm assuming these are. Urgh, urgh. I might have to get, might have to get the trusty scissors to open up this one right here. All right, here we go. Now we're in business. Now we're in business. All right. So it looks like these are probably orange sleeves. Uh, to go with uh, my orange, uh, my orange binder, we got. We're gonna look at in here in just a bit. Eighty sleeves total right here. Boom! Here are your sleeves. Let's open these up so we can take a better look at them. Uh, and these are matte sleeves, um, so you can see there is a little bit of texture to them, um, and they do look very durable. Um, just kind of test those out. Just even giving them like a little quick tug right there. You see they are not pulling apart. Uh, let's uh, put a card in there. Boom. There we go right there. It definitely definitely has got some protection. For Pokemon cards, it does have a little bit of room here off to the side of the left and the right. And then, of course, you got the room right there at the very top. So these are not perfect fit sleeves, um, but I know that BCW does offer perfect fit sleeves. Um, I do know that for a fact. Um, so these would probably be for um, probably a different card game. These are a little bit see-through on the back right here. Um, so depending on what game you are playing, um, that might come into uh, that might be a factor for you. Uh, I know it's not a factor for all card games, but some games it is different. I definitely do like those, and I love the feel of these right here. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. I want to set these off to the side over here so we can continue taking a good look at everything else that they sent us. This is, man, this is awesome. Thank you, thank you, BCW, um, for sending all of this. You totally, totally didn't have to. They sent this out of the kindness of their heart. Um, so let's look at this binder next. Urgh. Okay, here, I love binders. Um, and this is what I like about small binders. Small binders are great for um, being like your trade binder. So if all the cards you wanna trade, um, you can put in a small binder. It's easy to carry like when you're going to tournaments, uh, things like that. This is the Pro Folio. Um, another great thing to use small binders for is promo cards. So if you separate out your promo cards, this is um, probably a good, uh, good selection for you. And this said this did hold um, did hold 160 cards. Let's um, let's grab some cards and start inserting them. They do go sideways. So a lot of times you see uh, binders that have to go from the top like that. These go in sideways, just like this, left and right. 
Boom, there we go. And that's what it looks like with your cards right inside. That easy. Um, like I said, I would highly recommend getting a small binder for your trade stuff. It makes things so, so much easier, so much easier. And then boom, look at this. And you are ready to go to your Pokemon tournament with your trade binder intact, ready to trade with some fellow Pokemon collectors and players. I love the small binder. Um, and I know it comes in many different colors. Um, that's kind of what BCW uh, is awesome because they offer so many different colors and styles of all their different products. Um, so let's head over to, let's head over to sleeves, more sleeves. Love the color of these sleeves, guys. Love the color of these sleeves. Let's take a look at these. These are gloss sleeves, so they are different from the matte ones that we just looked at. They're probably not going to have, not that I'm a sleeve aficionado, um, but they are probably going to have a different feel to them than the matte ones, and they do. They do. These are definitely a lot more, a lot more slick, a lot more smooth. Um, let me get a Whalmer and put it inside right there. Um, these do have a little bit more, I don't know if this is just me noticing this or if they're supposed to, but they do have a little bit more of a snug fit to them. Um, the back of them, it is not transparent or see-through, um, so you are good on that front if you play a card game that, um, that matters for. I definitely like these. I think, if, I think if I'm going between the matte and the gloss, I definitely think I like the gloss better. The front is a lot more see-through, where the other one has just a little bit, um, a little bit, not like, um... Like kind of a, a little bit of a fog to it, uh, almost. These these are definitely very very see through. Take a look at that up close right there. That is some um, cool cool stuff right there. Um, so I'm definitely my my pick is definitely going to go for the gloss sleeves, and those were um, 80, 80 to a package as well. So I love love those good numbers. Um, I think that is great. I don't like when they're like 50 or they're like 20 or 25 or something like that. That's always like, uh, now I got to buy multiples of these. You just want to buy one thing of sleeves and be done with it. Um, at least for me, that's how I know it goes. We have, um, extra pages right here, extra pages for, for your binders, of course. Now that small one, obviously this would not go in the small one, um, because it is a bigger page. It is for a bigger book. Um, now these can go in probably just about any binder that you um, that you buy. So even if you have binders that are not um, by BCW, maybe you have like an Ultra Pro binder, or um, I, honestly, I can't think of the, any of the other companies. Um, so Ultra Pro and BCW are the only ones I know. Um, so if you have maybe a different binder from a different company, um, this would definitely um, fit inside that binder um, and this came with let me see how many sleeves this came or how many pages holds up to 180 uh, as you can see right there it says on the front 180 um, 10 10 uh, 10 side loading nine double pages uh, nine pocket double pages um, and then the last thing the one thing that I'm probably most excited about taking a look at this huge this huge portfolio. I'm, I can't even get it on the downward facing cam. I want to. I want to switch it back upwards right here. Look at this right here. We can just rip it, rip it right off the top there. Um, one thing I do like. This is very easy to open up. So I am definitely digging that. Oh wait a minute. Oh, I just now noticed that there's a zipper right on the front. So this means this is a zipper binder. No way. Holds 480 cards total comes in the color orange right here with any other colors if you're looking for um, other colors of your choice. Look at the zip. Look at the zip. Oh, man. How crazy is it that the, the smallest things like that um, can entertain us and make us the most happy? Take a look at this binder, guys. Like I said, you can put uh, you can put four cards along the bottom, middle, and the top, and you can put your play sets in there. That's what I really like about this. So maybe you get one binder for each set, uh, so maybe you have like all of your Crimson Invasion inside of this binder, then all of your Burning Shadows inside of another binder. Maybe you have a base set inside of one binder. Um, that's actually what I do. That's what I do. I have, I have a binder for each set. Um, and then let's take a look. Let's take a look. I'm going to put on the downward, downward cam once again so we can take a look at um, what it looks like when we put the cards inside of this binder. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So easy. They just slide right in. Super easy. Um, I think one thing that we can uh, probably look at is what it's like to have a card that is sleeved that goes inside 
the binder. How well does that work? Look at that. Look at that. It works perfectly fine. And there's still a little bit of room left over as well. So this card is sleeved up and it is going inside super, super easy. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That is that is awesome. These All these products are super, super cool. I want to thank uh, a BCW for literally just sending this package to me, um, wanting to check out some of their products. All right, PokeFam Nation, that is it for today's video. I had a blast hanging out with all of you awesome people and opening up this really cool BCW package that they sent me. So make sure you come back for tomorrow's video so we can hang out some more. And until then, check out some of the previous videos like you see on the side of your screen. Right here we have the Ultra Beast box, the Ultra Beast GX Premium Collection box that we opened up earlier this week. We have the fan mail video that we opened up yesterday and someone sent a huge, huge Pokemon card, um, almost like a collection. Uh, it was absolutely insane. You guys got to check that out. Guys, I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace, love, and a high five.